Okay, this is black pen, red pen, and sometimes blue. Anyway, today I'm going to show you guys how to solve this integral so that we can all get on Wi-Fi. Here we go. We see that we have this plus that times the square root of 4 minus x squared. So I will first distribute this and I will break this integral into two integrals. So for the first one, we will just have the integral from negative 2 to 2. This times that. So let's write down x to a third power. Cosine of x over 2 times square root of 4 minus x squared. And we're going to close this by putting down the dx right here. And then next, I will be adding this with 1 half times that in the integral, right? But because 1 half is a constant multiple, so I can actually write that down first. And then the integral from negative 2 to 2. And we have the square root of 4 minus x squared. And then we have the dx here. And once again, although they look crazy, but they are actually not that bad. So here is the deal. For the first one, in fact, it's actually just zero because this right here is an odd function. And this right here, you can just solve it by interpreting this as an area. And that's pretty much it. But I will show you guys the work first. So to show that this is an odd function, you pay attention to this. And we can first say that this is a function I will just call that to be f of x. Then we are going to do an observation. What we'll do is we will plug in negative x into all this x right here and see what will happen. So let's see that f of negative x, then we have plugging negative x in here, we get parentheses negative x and then to the third power times cosine and the x is negative x now. And then we have this over two and we multiply by square root of 4 minus parentheses and we plug in negative x into this x and then we are going to square that like this well well here we have negative 1 times x pretty much to a third power so negative 1 to a third power is still negative 1 so I'll write this down as negative right here x to the third power and here's the deal we have cosine of negative, right? Well, because cosine is an even function, so we can actually just ignore the negative, and we can just say that this is cosine of x over 2, because cosine is an even function. And then this right here is square root of 4 minus negative 1 squared is positive 1, and x squared is just x squared, so this is just the same as x squared. And now you see, this right here is pretty much our original f. So this is just f by the negative in front, like that, right? So as you can see, f of negative x is the same as negative f of x. Therefore, here we have an odd function. This right here is an odd function. Well, and let me also make a note right here. Whenever we're integrating from negative a to a, of an odd function. This right here, it's equal to zero. And this is just one of the properties of a definite integral. And that's pretty much it. You don't really have to do any crazy integration steps right here. So the whole thing right here is just zero, okay? And for the second one, this is also pretty nice. Here is the deal. I will be observing this right here. If you say this is equal to y, and if you make the graph of this, this right here is just going to be the graph of a semicircle, and the radius is pretty much just 2. So you have negative 2 here and positive 2 here. This right here is the graph for y equals to square root of 4 minus x squared. And if you want to see how we get that, you can square both sides and you can move the x squared to the other side and the negative becomes positive. So this is pretty much from x squared plus y squared is equal to 2 squared. So it's a semicircle. Anyway, remember when we do integrals, we pretty much interpret this as area. We go from negative 2 to 2. So it's just the whole thing right here. Therefore, the area of this and because it's just a semicircle, usually we have pi r squared, but since it's just half, so we just multiply by half, and 
you see that the radius is just 2, so we multiply here, r squared is just 2 squared like this. 2 squared is 4, divided by 2 is 2, so here is just 2 pi like that. So in another word, this whole thing is just 2 pi, but you do have to multiply by the 1 half in front. But anyway, let's see, I will just write down everything here. This integral is just 0 by this, and then we add it with 1 half times this part right here is 2 pi that we found. So we multiply by 2 pi. So of course you can see that this is just pretty much pi. So that's pretty much the answer to this integral right here. And because we need the first six digits, so you know pi you just kind of have to remember this. 3.141592 six and so on this right here will be our Wi-Fi password right here and this right here is it hopefully you guys all like this video and by the way just to let you guys know right now is 1 35 a.m.